Hi, I'm Rich Nolan from Nolan Engineering in upstate New York, and today we are going to unbox our joist repair kits for a joist that's been damaged by either a large hole or a large knot out of the bottom of it. So today we're going to unbox it and show you how to install it. And to assist me with this, we have Brian. Brian, go ahead and open that box. We'll show him what the kit includes. This is the 24 inch strap. These do come in four different sizes, depending on the width of your notch. This one is good for a six inch wide notch. We have ones for 12 inch wide, 16 inch wide, and 24 inch wide notches. You will need at least nine inches to the, each side of the notch before the screws go into the bottom of the joist. So the kit includes uh, all the screws you need. There are a large number of screws. There's 32 of them, 16 on each side. That's because we need to get the full strength of the joist. It also comes with a drill bit for pre-drilling the holes, which is very important. And it also comes with the nut driver and instructions. And then next we'll um, have Brian demonstrate the proper way to install one of these. So to install the joist, you want to center the strap on the notch and you could either hold it in place yourself or you could actually put a piece of duct tape around both ends to hold it in place. And then you're gonna pre-drill one hole, and these are already pre-drilled, because uh, we've had this up here before, but you're gonna pre-drill one hole, and that one, you're gonna have a slight inward angle when you pre-drill, because you don't want the drill bit to come out of the side of the joist, you wanna drill slightly toward the center. And, once, and the first hole you want to do is the one inner hole, one of the inner holes to one side of the notch. Do not start, do not start with one of these holes way out here. You want to start with either this inner hole or this inner hole. And once you have the one hole pre-drilled, then go ahead and put in one screw to hold the strap in place for you. This is very important. These screws, the force on these screws is in shear. There's nothing trying to pull the screw out of the joist, so do not over tighten the screw. We're simply snug it up. Uh, we do not want to strip the wood or split the wood. There's nothing, like I said, trying to pull the screws out. They're trying to shear the heads off. So just snug up the screw is all you have to do. Once you've got the first one in place, then you want to go ahead and drill your uh, next pilot hole um, to the to the other side of the strap, the, the hole that's closest to the notch. So we'll drill that and we'll put in one screw and then we'll continue on. Well, we, these are already drilled so we, we don't have to show that again, so we'll just go ahead and do the screws. So once you have the two screws in, now we can go ahead and pre-drill the remainder of the holes. So we always want to work from the closest to the notch outward. Uh, we don't want to start our screws here and work inward because that will cause the strap to bow downward. So we want to start closest to the notch and work our way outward with the screws. So as you get close to the screw bottom, you know, get the bottom out, we can do so a little bit on the drill because we don't want to bow And note by doing this, uh, we did not have to pull the plumbing. If there was wires going through there, we didn't have to pull that. We didn't have to sister this up. Which uh, so pulling and rerouting plumbing is expensive, not always possible. You know, getting another member in here and attaching it to this is very difficult sometimes. Um, so this prevents you having to sister it and go through all that hassle. Put the strap on the bottom. It is designed to, to restore the full. Uh, strength of a joist from 2x4 up to 2x12 for the maximum span. Brian, should we demonstrate to them this, this is, uh, how strong this is? 